in this lecture we are going to learn about what is known as avial trees okay so avial tree is a very famous binary tree and in fact it is a binary search tree okay so it is a binary search tree but it has something more than that okay and that property is that balanced condition okay so it is a binary search tree that is balanced also okay which means the heights of the subtrees are balanced and it ensures that the depth of the tree is log of n where n is the number of nodes in your tree okay so binary search tree we know what is the property that okay you have nodes so for a parent node everything on the left subtree will be less than equal to this okay and on the right you have everything greater than let's say greater than the parent okay and the equality can also hold so this should apply on all the nodes for all the nodes okay so this is binary search tree so for example if we see so this 7 is here 10 so this is an example of binary search tree okay so we have 7 as the parent then on the left subtree we have left child 3 is there for the root right child is 10 so on the right it is greater than its parent left it is less than the parent for 3 node 3 also its right child is greater than parent left child is less than parent for 5 left child is less than 5 right child is greater than 5 so this is the case for binary search tree okay where for each node okay so every element in the left subtree of it is smaller than it and every element on the right subtree is greater than that okay and this holds true for every node of binary search tree but what might happen in a binary search tree is that let's say I give you numbers insertion of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 15, 20. Okay. So first we will insert 1. Next what happens? 3 comes. 3 is greater than 1. So it becomes the right child. Now why we want to insert 5. So 5 we compare 5 with 1. It is greater. It goes to the right. 5 goes, is compared with 3, 5 is greater than 3, 5 comes here. So 5 is inserted here, then 7. So 7 is now inserted here. Similarly, 9 is inserted here, 15 and 20. Okay. So this is a binary search tree, but in fact, this is a linked list also because you are just traversing in a simply in a line. Okay. So this is a tree but a very trivial tree okay where its height is really so it's level 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so it is equal to the number of nodes its height so this is the problem with binary search tree that its height is not balanced okay so we would like something like 7 9 okay so 7 15 29 then we could have here so 3 then 1 then 5 so this is much beautiful tree okay it is balanced it is binary search tree but it is balanced okay so it's not just growing in one direction it is complete tree it is okay so it has very few the height is less okay so we want something like this an avial tree a binary search tree with balanced condition so this property is ensured by avial tree okay so what happens is that we want that the height of the left subtree okay this one and height of the right subtree should be equal okay then again if a smart person will give me one more example okay so he will say that okay 10 11 12 13, 14, 9, 8, 7, 6. So again he says that okay I have given you one example where the root and its left and right subtree are balanced but in fact this is also not a very balanced condition. So what we need to do that at each node its left and right subtrees should be balanced 
and how we ensure this so in avl tree is a binary search tree where for every node in the tree the height of the left subtree and the right subtree they at most differ by one okay so height of the left subtree and height of the right subtree for any node in that avl tree will differ by at most one so if we see this example so what happens now each of the node will have one attribute which is known as height the balance factor okay so that balance factor tells okay so this is the balance factor it tells the height difference between height of the left subtree minus height of the right subtree okay so for this the height of the left subtree so 3 minus 2 so it is plus 1 here then for 9 this node 1 and 0 1 minus 0 plus 1 for 8 0 minus 0 so it's 0 for this node 2 so it's 1 height here and 2 here so 1 minus 2 so minus 1 so we see that and 0 for this 1 and 3 so it has for every node the balance factor is 0 plus 1 or minus 1 so balance factor is so mod of balance factor should be less than equal to 1 then it is a an avl tree and of course it should follow the binary search tree property so this is an avl tree and of course it is a binary search tree this is a binary search tree but it is not an avl tree so if you see the root so it's 1 2 3 here and here it's only 1 so 3 minus 1 it's plus 2 so here this is not a binary and avl tree okay so root is not balanced so what we do now so now let's look height information so it's kept for each node okay the balance factor now the minimum number of nodes denoted by sh in an avl tree of height h so okay so we want to find the minimum number of nodes denoted by s of h so h is the height of the avl tree okay so height is 0 then your s of 0 is 1 height is 0 okay so then you just have the root and s of 0 is 1 so minimum number of nodes in an avl tree s of 1 height is 1 so you will have at least so s of 1 so in this case it will be something this is an avl tree or this avl tree is there okay so minimum number of nodes when will we get okay so we will get that when let's say here it is left subtree so left subtree right subtree now what happens is that let's say the height total height of this tree is h this means if i remove this root node this will be of height h minus 1 maximum okay because one node i have taken this can be also maximum h minus 1 but what we want is that we should have minimum number of nodes so because in avl tree you can have a balance factor which is equal to 1 okay so the these can differ by 1 so i will want that okay if this is h minus 1 i can have this as h minus 2 or if this is h minus 1 i can have this as h minus 2 such that overall the tree height is h but we have minimum number of nodes so if we have h minus 1 here in the left in the right subtree h minus 2 will be on the left okay so this way sh is s of h minus 1 plus s of h minus 2 okay so left subtree height of h minus 1 right subtree will be height of h minus 2 or either you can have right subtree of h minus 1 height and left subtree of h minus 2 and plus 1 for the root okay so this is the equation and it's very similar to the fibonacci series and the height of an avl tree with n nodes if you see because it is balanced so it is o of log n where n is the number of nodes okay so this is the basic about avl tree what is an avl tree and how we find out what if a binary search tree is having the avl tree property and how to find the 
minimum number of nodes in an AVL tree with height h. Okay, so this was the introduction to AVL tree. In our next lecture, so we will study about insertion. Okay, so we will see what how we insert items into the AVL tree. Okay. And in that, we will see that it, the insertion is similar to the BST, but it can cause the balance factor can be, become greater than 1. So, how we will balance the tree again? So, we will see about rotations. Okay. So, we will look at rotations. So, we have single rotation and double rotation so these are very interesting things this you will see in the next lecture in the following lecture thanks a lot